Welcome back to Dinghy Cruising Kingfisher. Trim and I have travelled seven hours north of Sydney to join up with the sailors of the northern rivers of New South Wales. This raid was based out of the Big River Sailing Club near Harwood and it was an opportunity to get not one but three John Wellsford navigators together. But first, let's meet James and his interesting little boat. Good old sail and oar. Yeah. So what sort of boat was it again, James? Oh, it's an Ian Outred Puffin. Ian Outred Puffin. Yeah. And James arrived with the van, with the boat inside the van. No trailer. Perfectly simple. How long have you had it, James? Uh, I built her five years ago, I think. Now. So this is your own build. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you find uh, it takes a lot of maintenance or are you sort of a bit rough with it? No, uh, I'm a bit rough with it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I like hearing that because yeah, no, trim gets an absolute beating. I, I like them to look a little bit kind of salty. Yeah. We leave trim on the trailer for now and give Julian a hand crewing on his new navigator. It's the first time he's launched it and as you could expect, he's quite excited about the day. So, a nice lunch under the tree here at the Big River Sailing Club. Uh, it's, it's 15 gusting to 20. Everyone's keen to go out for an afternoon sail. We're all putting our reefs in and uh, gonna give it a go. Quarters tacking from Skipper Julian. That's right. We, you caught up down the back there, mate. You caught up on the motor. Just clear that. There we go. Oh, they're sitting right on your hammer. <laughs> I don't know if we pointed out, but Julian's Navigator doesn't have a name yet. If you'd like to suggest some names in the comments below, please do so. Please do. I will pass them on to him. <laughs> yeah, this feels like a raid. Go, mate! He'll join us, you won't. Oh. There you go, the unnamed navigator is in the lead. Any ideas for names yet? No. Other than, can you get on the high side, Josh? 
Well that was a cracking afternoon sail. I'm glad we ventured back out. Wind stayed fresh but uh, plenty, plenty of breeze for all the boats to play a bit of chasings as the uh, footage probably showed you. We're going to haul the boats out for the night and uh, we're camping ashore here at the Big River Sailing Club. Uh, we'll talk to you later. A lovely night by the fire and uh, slept really well. Boat stayed on the trailer, so it's the first time Trim was actually a camper van. Julian's gone out by himself this morning and he's just uh, pottering around under a reef main uh, trying to get the feel of the boat on his own. And here comes the gang buzzing the tower again. <laughs> and Posh has joined us. It's a pathfinder with a cabin, yes, and you've seen Posh before. There we go. We finally got three navigators in the water. And a pathfinder. It's like the unofficial John Wellswood meeting. Here we go. Pathfinder, navigator, navigator. And periwinkle for good measure. <laughs> so Julian's progressed to jib, wind's sort of stable around 10 knots and uh, I think confidence is built so we're giving that a go. We're also fighting against a three knot river current. So uh, we've been tacking backwards and forwards in the same place and main only is not enough. So we're hoping to uh, beat to windward and overcome the river on our way back up to Harwood. While we're sailing along here, you might recall that on trim I used a piece of um, black bungee cord as a uh, tiller tamer that used to wrap around here. That became problematic as the bungee cord started to get caught up in the tiller extension that I put on it. And so I went and researched the Huntingford Impeder. There's a PDF online on how to make one and I basically copied it straight out. I'll put a link to the uh, PDF in the description but let's have a little look at it because there are a couple of things that I've done differently and a little bit of learning for us all so the first thing is um, my tiller was not wide enough for a fair lead at the beginning or at the um, bow end of the tiller so I've just used a stainless high bolt and the other thing that we need I needed to consider was the actual abrasiveness of the system in what uh, what kind of line you use. So my first example used a piece of double braid and it quickly uh, looked like it was wearing out. My second attempt is uh, a piece of Dyneema and that seems to be working quite well in the short time that I've had it on. It's not showing visible signs of wear. So hopefully I've showed you a bunch of images and I do rate the system. Um, it does deaden the feel of the boat a little bit 
but um, when you're tacking and you can set it over, go do your ropes, come back, pull the tiller back, it, uh, it works really well. So. Well, that's about all we have time for today. We uh, have packed up and hauled out, as you can see, and now we have a brand new dinghy cruiser in our midst and another navigator on the water. We'll see you again next time. Bye.